Good evening, good evening everybody, how we doing? If you could find your way to your tables, we'll get started tonight. I see you. Oh, Joey Polk already at table seven. We've identified the table of the night. How are we doing? Everybody okay? We good? America, we good? We're fine. Good evening and welcome to the 10th annual IAVA Heroes Gala. I'm privileged to be your host again this year. It's my favorite event of the year where we honor the men and women who sacrificed their lives and their bodies and spent years away from their families to protect the safety and the freedom of our lives and our families here at home. Tonight, on a day when the Commander-in-Chief met in the Oval Office with the next Commander-in-Chief, we will honor our veterans and great patriots like Les Gelb. <laughs> Under Secretary of the Army, our friend Patrick Murphy. and Kenny Fisher, who does such great work with Fisher House. We will celebrate the work of IAVA and its members and recommit ourselves to honoring and empowering our nation's veterans. So let's begin tonight by rising for the presentation of the colors, followed by the national anthem. Gentlemen, if you're wearing a hat, please remove it, and please remain standing until the color guard exits the hall. Now join me in welcoming to the stage to sing our national anthem, a rising star with a big voice. She's a singer, a songwriter, and a veteran of the Army National Guard. Please welcome Emmy C. Join me. Join me. Oh, sing. And you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say. 